when he showed it to me and I looked at it, right. I go, I went in my bag and I couldn't find my pen. And I go, well, there goes that idea. And I swear to God, I open up the door and there's the pen. And I look and I got two glasses. I could take that joint out of that fucking jar and we could have smoked it in that jar. Or we could have fucking done it in this. And it, no, it, that was it got me high. Listen. That was like an edible. Hash is completely different than what people think. Well, the problem with hash is there's not a lot of good stuff around, like I said in the beginning of the podcast. Mm. So people get caught smoking this fucking shit they give out in these stores in L.A. They don't even know what they're selling. Trust me, I would smoke it and get sick for a few days. When you're coughing shit up after a pipe load or something an hour later, that's not healthy. So I shut it all down. I said, that's it. I'm not smoking nothing else. I don't want nothing. I don't want no shatter. I don't want nothing. I just want fucking weed. That's. I don't want that shit in my pipe. I don't want nothing. Excuse right. me. Do you not like shatter because it was just that big article? I don't know what the fuck it is. So why? You know, enough. I'm not doing those vapor pens no more. I'm not doing none of that shit. I decided I was like that shit's got to be fucking killing you at some fucking level. We don't know what it's going to do to you. Right? Yeah, you don't. Listen, I all I know is one fucking thing. Okay? You know what I know? I know you take two fucking zigzags. You cut one, you lick the other one, you stick it to the other one, you take some fucking reefer, you cut it with a scissor, you roll it up, and you put a fucking lighter or whatever, and you smoke it. Guess what? They've been doing that since fucking 2,000 years. Anything other than that, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I really don't know what you're talking about. I did that for fucking years. And then when I got to high school, I would go into the city, and they'd sell you all these uh, weeds dipped in fucking hash oil or whatever. But then something special happened. Something really fucking cool happened. Some kid introduced me to fucking hash. And I would smoke fucking hash with him. But he would tell me the mistake people do. And I do it on the show like an asshole because I'm trying to get high with you guys. You're not even supposed to smoke the hash hmm. with the weed. You're supposed to smoke the hash in a different type of pipe even. Because the hash high, if the hash is good, like you guys saw this hash is. I'll say. This is what it does to you. It's a complete different high. You could put on earphones and listen to music. It's very fucking different. Forget about smoking out of a fucking glass, which is just smoke. There's nothing been in that fucking job of reefer. So uh, if that's the problem. People mix the hash oil with the weed. You're not supposed to do that. We do that because we're fucking gavones. But in real life, you're supposed to smoke hash by itself with maybe, with maybe a glass of red wine. That'll put you at a different fucking level. That's yeah. why I don't do it. I'll smoke hash, but I don't want to smoke hash and fucking wine. It's a complete different ha high, guys, if it's real hash. Well, fucking hey, man, that was really good. Oh, no, no, I'm happy. I'm happy yeah. you stopped by. I was like an edible dude. I was. Yeah, no, no, no. I felt the same fucking way. I saw what it did to Lee. Lee started sweating profusely. Is that true? Lee started sweating profusely out of his head. His face got red. He was coughing. I'm well, like, Lee's getting fucked up. I couldn't really get high when I was doing, uh, when I was really sick on the, with the flu. Because you told me that NyQuil and edibles fucked you up. So I didn't do that. But I did Robitussin. And apparently there's kids who are doing, like, 20 Robitussin pills and then smoking weed, so it's crazy. So I had, like, huh. 200 milligrams, which is nothing for me. And I had Robitussin, and I got fucked up. So <laughs> it's, it was... Interesting. Let me ask you something. Are you okay? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Why would you do Robitussin? <laughs> Robitussin. After we just had this conversation. In Los Angeles, where, 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 like, where there's so many really good drugs out there that are so readily available. Well, I, I didn't go For you to go and spend $7 I, on Robitussin. This is how wide I am. I Googled if it was okay, and there were discussions online. And You actually fucking Googled it. Yeah, there's a this is bunch of discussions. Like, Dude, I don't think anybody's ever overdosed on Robitussin. At least I'm not commenting on the discussion. Wait, wait sure. stop Googling. Just take the Robitussin, take, put it on the rocks. <laughs> Rubber testing on the rocks, bro. Rubber testing on the rocks yeah. with some fucking sleeping pills that's all over but the fucking shot. If you put, a little, if you put, put a little ginger Bismol ale on, on, on that with on the rocks, that'd be good. Ginger ale with rubber testing. It's like slow gin. Why are you breaking my fucking balls, Lee? I cocksucker. <laughs>